I see that my technology is still not working quite as it should, but we'll get there. Uh, what's really exciting about Music at York is that we are the first in Canada to offer integrated studies in jazz, in contemporary improvisation, in gospel, in world music, and in ethnomusicology. Our program is organized around three uh, areas of focus concentration, and these are music creation, music studies, and community practice. And these are broad principles of musical uh, engagement that work across a variety of areas. And here you have a uh, better exploration of what that means. Creation here refers to performance, composition, and improvisation. Music studies, we include popular music studies, ethnomusicology, and musicology. And community practice, we have a strong program also in music education and community music. Our facilities are um, state of the art. And when you walk into the main, uh, bill, uh, main floor of Accolade East, this is the lobby to the Tribute Communities Recital Hall, which is our main venue for concerts. And this is what it looks like inside. And actually I am virtually situated, not only incorrectly as Sherry A. Johnson, <laughs> but also situated here within uh, this very tribute communities recital hall from the different angle. Here you see it onto the stage set up for uh, a jazz uh, combo and I'm um, sitting uh, in a different position where you can see the full audience. Our other main performance space is the Martin Family Lounge and here you actually see a jazz combo uh, with some of our faculty members performing in this space. This is a more casual space and is often used for concerts uh, at lunchtime and uh, also hosts a large part of our uh, uh, jazz festival. Our courses are subdivided into pathways um, that offer students an opportunity to uh, choose a pathway that they would like to focus on in addition to having the option of selecting from among a variety of courses in this area. York's Department of Music is unique in the in so far as we have a wide range of possible courses that students can select from to develop their interests, to develop your interests, your um, uh, passions in music, but on the other hand, we offer focused studies in these areas. And we'll go through some of these now with the assistance of uh, professors uh, Waite and uh, Viswanathan. The majority of undergraduate students are enrolled in the four-year Bachelor of Fine Arts Honours degree um, for 120 credits and uh, we offer very fine advising through uh, OASIS, the Office of uh, Student Services, so that uh, students who are um, interested in coming to York, enrolled, and uh, have the support of the office as well as faculty members within the department to assist with course selection. And here you see the Wind Symphony in performance in uh, the recital hall. We'll start with jazz and gospel music. And I thought just to give you a sense of who we are and what we do, we'll go through some of the areas. And um, I'm very fortunate to have uh, jazz area coordinator Sundar Viswanathan here to assist me in this area and uh, Professor Patricia Waite, who uh, is the classical area coordinator whom you've already met. Uh, to assist me in the classical area. And um, this is actually a screenshot from our website so that you can see that we um, have a, a, a selection of different pathways. So in first year 
as a first year student, you would take required courses. And there are two main required courses that we ask all students to take. And that's an introduction to theory and musicianship called uh, Workshop in Musicianship, uh, which is a full year course worth six credits or a full credit, uh, course credit. In addition to that, there's an introduction to music studies called uh, Musics and Cultures One. So those are the two required courses. Outside of that, you have a selection. If you're interested in jazz and gospel music, then in first year, you might want to take private lessons, um, join a small ensemble, such as a jazz workshop. Uh, if you don't have experience uh, performing, playing in a jazz workshop, there's an introductory course. There's also jazz theory and musicianship. And then you have a choice to join a variety of ensembles. If you're an instrumentalist, there's the jazz orchestra, York R&B. Uh, if you're a vocalist, there's the jazz choir and York University gospel choir uh, as well. And this is in addition to other courses that you might want to take in the department. Now we have some uh, video selections here and I'm going to invite uh, Professor Viswanathan to introduce these and um, talk a little bit about them. Thank you. A little bit about this, please. Yeah, so the, the, the videos that we're gonna see are um, videos that involve the full-time faculty. We have several part-time faculty, but just for the sake of uh, the, the time that we have, we're focusing on the people that, you, that you're going to see um, at, uh, as, as full-time faculty at York. And, and this is, the first one is a video that I put together or that my band, this is my band, Avatar. And interestingly, several of the members in the band, let's see, the, the guitarist is a master student at York now. The bassist is a PhD student at York. The uh, drummer is a, is a, lo a local musician. The uh, tablet player teaches at York and he was a, P a master's and PhD student. And the singer was a student of mine when she was doing her undergrad at York. This was about uh, 15 years, I won't tell you how old I am, 15 years ago. Um, so the point is that I, I basically, this band is made up of professionals. These are some of the best musicians in, in the country. And they all uh, are, most of them, except for one, are affiliated in some way with York. So this is my band, Avatar. And this is just a little clip of a, my original composition called Monsoon. <laughs> I'm just going to move to the next slide now. Yeah. So um, 
that that example and this example are, are two examples of what I was mentioning before about the cross sections of jazz and world music. Uh, the one that I I was playing in that was my piece that was um, a mixture of my influences in jazz and in Indian music. So uh, that was an example of and this is one of our professors, our news professor, one of our news professors, Noam Lemish, who uh, works in the intersection between jazz and Jewish music. And this particular example is an example of his compass, uh, not his comp shorts, an interpretation of a Jewish hymn. And this is called Dror Yikrar. And this is him with, and actually the bass player and the drummer both went to York. So there are that, or at York. slide so um, this video is a uh, um, features like I said professor Ron Westray who is our Oscar Peterson chair in jazz at uh, at York and professor Westray uh, was the lead trombonist in Winton Marsalis's Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra for many years and we um, picked him up several years ago and he's been here at York for almost 10 years now I think um, so this is example this shows clips from his I think his most recent album is called Magisteria, and uh, it features all his original compositions in, in what a style that he calls jazz hop, which is a mixture of jazz and hip hop. And uh, you'll see him plus guitarist who had his, has his masters from York, and the drummer and the the pianist both are play, uh, both uh, teach at York. And actually, this is more you don't you're not going to see them, but you'll hear them. And and so several of these musicians are affiliated with York.
about that. Okay. And so I was mentioning before um, the professor, Karen Burke, who is, uh, who's an expert in gospel music, her, um, her professional choir outside of school, the uh, Toronto uh, Mass Choir, has uh, won at least one Juno, and uh, is very well known. And uh, so she has, comes with a great she comes with a great deal of expertise in that area. And this is the York University Gospel Choir, and in a performance, I'm not sure where, but uh, these are mostly York students. And uh, you can see there's as you'll see there's a lot of energy and uh, music's very uplifting. So York Gospel Choir. All right, thank you. would learn how to stop this without playing it again. So my apologies, everyone. Technology is uh, a wonderful thing. This is the final, All actually, right. uh, <laughs> final excerpt or example from the wonderfully diverse jazz program that we have at York. And I'll let uh, Professor Viswanathan uh, introduce it again. Great. So uh, this is an ensemble, our large jazz ensemble, Jazz Orchestra, directed by Professor Mike Godot. So Mike Adu is a guitarist uh, and composer, and uh, he's been uh, coaching this ensemble for quite a while. Uh, and this particular example is, uh, is a, they're playing a piece by, Ra by Radiohead, actually. So um, there's all kinds of eclectic music that comes through York and that you can participate in. So this is a jazz, York, U Jazz Orchestra.
And I think we'll end this one uh, right there and uh, continue. And I hope that gives you a good idea of some of the wide range of uh, performance opportunities that we offer our students and also how uh, broad uh, sweeping our, our jazz program is, what fabulous students we have, and what wonderful and accomplished uh, instructors throughout the program. Now, if I could move this without playing it again, I'd be very happy. Uh, but I see that that's not going to happen. But there we go. Here's just a variety of some of the courses that we do offer in the jazz area so that you can see how these continue throughout. And we have jazz theory and musicianship all the way through um, and some of the other courses. Now, we uh, want to move on now to uh, introduce the Western classical performance area for you. Our program is uh, broadly defined in terms of uh, the, uh, the areas of creation and um, uh, community music uh, and studies, as I mentioned at the beginning, but also musically, stylistically, um, the areas are uh, jazz, classical, and uh, world music. And Patricia, Professor Patricia Waite will help us with the um, examples that I'm about to play here for you. But once again, you have an idea of some of the uh, kinds of courses that a student coming into first year might uh, be interested in taking, depending on whether you are a vocalist, a pianist, an instrumentalist, uh, you would uh, choose from courses such as these in your first year, in addition to the um, required courses, um, workshop in musicianship and musics and cultures one. So we're going to start so that you can hear uh, Professor Waite play. Would you like to say something about this, Professor Waite? You have to, and unmute would be good, yeah. There we go. Sorry. Um, yes, this is, uh, uh, I was telling you earlier about a trio that uh, I play in with a colleague of mine, uh, uh, Professor Mark Chambers, the cellist. He's also uh, uh, he's a full-time faculty member, and he also conducts the university orchestra. And our pianist, uh, her name is Elizabeth Acker. She's a wonderful pianist. She, she's not a faculty member, but she has she uh, um, is very active in our department and has been for many years. She accompanies recitals and juries and. Uh, and it is unusual that she is also a very accomplished jazz pianist, and that you don't you don't find that very often uh, in, in a pianist that they can have feet in both sides. So she's a perfect York, uh, perfect, and she is a graduate of York University Music Department many many, many years ago. So you can you can see the influence that York has had on her. Uh, and uh, this is a beginning of of a trio written by an Austrian composer named Karl Frühling. Uh, and away we go.
Okay, thank you uh, for that wonderful performance. And uh, Professor Waite, would you like to in introduce the choir? Yes, this is a this is a, our York University Chamber Choir, uh, and it's taken from a concert that they did in Italy in 2015 on their European tour. And uh, it's conduct being conducted by uh, a York professor, uh, Lisette Canton. She's the director of all the choirs in our department. And this is a, a, a piece called Soon I Will, I Will Be Done, uh, arranged by uh, the famous American come Canadian uh, composer and conductor and arranger, Diane Loomer and Floyd Ricketts uh, is the tenor soloist. I And we'll leave it there. And there, of course, you can see the influence of gospel music in a classical composition, um, which is uh, certainly a, an interesting feature of that, that work. And Professor Waite will introduce this one also. Okay, this is a, a, a performance done by uh, our York professor, uh, Christina Petrovska Quilico, uh, who oversees all of our classical piano uh, courses. And uh, CBC has described her as, quote, a particularly extraordinary sort of musician, one who can meet the ever mounting technical demands imposed by today's composers, and who is willing to try things that have never been done before. Um, so she's particularly well known for her interpretations of new music. And in today's video, you'll hear her playing uh, from uh, uh, Canadian composer André Mathieu's fourth uh, piano concerto, and it's with a, a local Toronto orchestra, the Kindred Spirits Orchestra. Mathieu was a Canadian composer who, was, who uh, lived from uh, 1929 to 1968. <laughs>
we'll leave that there, unfortunately, in the interest of time so that we can continue. So uh, the next, uh, am I muted? No. So uh, the next video uh, is uh, Professor Amy Hillis, um, and uh, who's a violinist, and we have just welcomed her to our department this year uh, to, to develop studies in community music. Uh, she has commissioned many works from Canadian composers, uh, and so uh, like uh, our colleague Professor uh, Petrovska, she is uh, particularly involved in contemporary music. Um, and today, but today she'll be uh, you'll be hearing a, an excerpt from uh, the 13th Prelude uh, by Russian composer Dmitry Shostakovich for violin and piano, which were actually uh, transcribed from a set of 24 preludes that he originally wrote for the piano. And we're going to end with a student ensemble. Uh, Professor Waite will tell you about this ensemble. This is a, a group of uh, a students that uh, uh, was enrolled in a chamber music course last year and, and they were my ensemble, which I coached. Uh, Brooke Ramos White on flute, uh, uh, Dante Alimo playing the cello and Ernesto De Luca on the piano. This is an excerpt from uh, Hummel's Piano Trio Opus 68, which has an interesting title. It was its uh, introduction theme and variations on the Cossack ride over the Danube. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Hi. <laughs> of time I'm afraid we'll just end it right there I know that's disappointing especially when it's a student group and uh, it's it's always a, a pleasure to listen to them um, I would like to now continue with, um, before we move to uh, the world music area just a selection of some of the courses that we offer in uh, world in, excuse me, Western classical performance, as you can see, we have harpsichord, organ, piano accompanying. Uh, we have a series of master classes in third and fourth year, and the students you just heard actually come from that. We uh, offer recital, and we have a large variety of ensembles, the concert choir, the wind symphony, the um, university orchestra, uh, as well as a chamber choir, Baroque and early music ensemble. So you can see that we have a wide variety of possibilities for students to uh, participate in performance. 
world music is an area uh, that has distinguished York University's Department of Music for many years. And uh, we have uh, been able to offer a number of different ensembles from this world music area, and you can see them listed here. Uh, students, again, uh, can take uh, uh, any number of these courses associated with a focus in uh, classical or jazz and combine them in their own music making as part of uh, their first year experience. Um, in addition to the, require, the two required courses I've mentioned already. Uh, Professor Sherry Johnson is the World Music Area Coordinator, and unfortunately she was not able to be here, although she is here in name, as you can see from, uh, from the identification uh, under, my, under my visual here. And you will get my name eventually, so <laughs> my apologies for that. Uh, Professor Johnson uh, is the director of the Canadian Celtic Ensemble. Uh, Professor Johnson is a very fine fiddler and step dancer who brings a lot of energy to the department. And uh, I have a few short excerpts uh, from the world music area and we'll begin with the uh, Canadian Celtic Ensemble. There we are. These are uh, uh, several shorter excerpts. And they're not that short that we have to hear them again, although that would be fun. So uh, among the other uh, ensembles we have uh, are Cuban and Samba ensembles. These are led by a well-known Toronto-based percussionist Rick Lazar who has expertise in hand drumming and world rhythms for drum kit and many different rhythmic styles around the world. And these are short clips that I'll play for you now, um, beginning with this uh, samba ensemble. And now we have a, a small clip from the Cuban Ensemble. And finally, a clip here of uh, Rick Lazar himself performing with his ensemble so that you can hear his, uh, his own playing. Uh, Professor Irene Markov teaches Balkan Ensemble in private uh, lessons in Balkan singing, another one of ensembles, our ensembles, and I'll play a clip from the Balkan Ensemble here. You can see from these uh, clips that our Martin Family Lounge, and in particular the Tribute Community Recital Hall, gets a lot of use. And that's a very brief clip of another style of singing, which is taught in the department, uh, Balkan singing. So 
let us hope. And here are a selection of world music ensembles uh, once again, um, that, and you've seen a, a variation of that. I'd like to continue just to show some of the other areas that we focus on, and then we'll pause for questions because I know that, that you have questions as well. We offer studies in contemporary improvisation. Again, York was uh, the first to introduce this area of creative contemporary improvisation. And today you would be able to take private lessons in open style improvisation, join an electroacoustic orchestra or a new music ensemble, and also um, join a contemporary musicianship and improvisation uh, class. Composition, of course, is a very, very uh, dynamic area in the department. Um, we offer a number of different styles of composition, uh, uh, including, um, you can see here a list of courses, uh, digital and electronic media here are, are included. Um, also introduction to scoring for film, games, motion media, and composing for film. Uh, so we have a strong interest and are developing the area of screen composition. I have here uh, a, a, an excerpt actually from um, a composition by one of our instructors, Professor Randolph Peters, who has an extensive background in film composition and has also written operas for the Canadian, um, including for the Canadian Opera Company. And this is a string quartet that he wrote, which is um, <clears throat> going to be uh, performed by the Penderecki Quartet, and it's entitled Murmurations. I'll play just a little bit of this. concludes our um, selection of videos uh, and um, recordings of, of performances as part of today's presentation, but I wanted to also make sure that uh, I make you aware of other parts of our program. We have music education and community music, uh, and many of our students are actually deeply engaged in music education and uh, uh, some uh, register in the consecutive program, uh, enroll in that immediately, and um, others choose to take concurrent education um, while at, uh, following a degree at, in the Department of Music. And here are some of the courses that we offer in this area to help prepare students uh, in education. We have a very um, a uh, pragmatic uh, practice built approach with a lot of uh, courses designed in helping students actually uh, prepare to teach. We offer a variety of studies courses as well. Um, and as part of these studies courses, we uh, take students 
uh, to uh, uh, have experiences outside the classroom. Here, for example, you have a photo of the Canadian Opera Company. I have taught the uh, first and second year music and cultures courses um, most recently and uh, was able to take the uh, students to a dress rehearsal of the Canadian Opera Company. And this is the photo that you see of the orchestra pit and the opening screen. We also have guests in classrooms and here we have guests from Opera Atelier coming into another studies course. Um, some of our courses also go outside of the classroom and involve experiential opportunities in music education that's visits to classroom in a studies course that I taught we went to the First Nations Gallery in the Royal Ontario Museum to explore um, uh, Indigenous music making as a foundation to um, our own um, heritage and uh, our own um, position. We offer many concerts, many special events. And here you actually see a selection of some of them, um, including at the top here, Professor Viswanathan's group Avatar. Uh, and uh, uh, below that, the um, jazz artist in residence um, that was here uh, 2019, Luciana Souza. And Professor Viswanathan, I will ask you now to just say a few words about a coming opportunity, because every year, we have an Oscar Peterson jazz artist in residence that we are delighted to host. And this year we're making arrangements, well, we've made arrangements to have um, a, a special artist come this, uh, this term, which is exceptional. And um, that will be in two weeks. So Professor Viswanathan, if you could just uh, give us a brief introduction, that would be wonderful, thanks. Sure, so um, uh, the guitarist, uh, and a composer from uh, Côte d'Ivoire. His name is Lionel Luecke. So he's a world-renowned guitarist and composer. Uh, he recorded and toured with Herbie Hancock. He's got his own bands. He's played with practically everybody. Um, he's based out of uh, Europe. And uh, now we have the opportunity, given our situation, to have a um, three-day conference, you could say, with him. And he's gonna he's gonna be present to talk about composition, improvisation, uh, to play for us, to uh, talk about being a musician, and uh, that kind of thing. So we're really lucky to have him. He's a Grammy winning, uh, really well known and very very high level uh, uh, performer. So he's gonna come in in the third week of uh, November. Yes, and in fact, uh, do stay tuned because you will be invited to some of the uh, sessions that he will be offering as an opportunity to also uh, listen to him and meet some of our students and see our classes at that time. So that is November 16, 17 and 18. So we look forward to seeing some of you there. Here's some of our music studies courses again. Uh, we offer courses also in career preparation because we know that this is an important part of uh, what happens. And I think that what I'll do now is I'll scroll through some of these courses, uh, some of these concluding slides, because I know that we have questions and I definitely want to make time for those. So Laura, I see that you're back on the screen and I'm, I'm happy to take the questions now. Oh. Yes, yeah, so uh, we are over time already. Um, I think we'll maybe do an extra five minutes for those of you who are still with us and pick out a couple of questions. Um, I mentioned in the chat, but uh, what we'll do is we've recorded all the questions that you've asked so far, and we will um, answer those and send them out in an email to everybody who registered for the webinar as well. Um, so we'll get all those questions answered eventually. Um, I also want to introduce Daniel, our student. Um, Daniel, if you could just come online for one second. Uh, Daniel, can you plug your, your Instagram live tomorrow? Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going live with another, uh, another music student named Katie Collier. Um, she is in her, I'm in my fifth year at York doing classical saxophone. She's in her sixth year at York doing, uh, she's now in education, but graduated from music a couple years ago. We're going to be talking all things music, um, 
everything from different courses that we've liked, um, just the life of, of a music student, um, answering any questions that you guys have and feel free to just hop on. We'll be on from 4.30 to 5.30 and we're there to answer any questions that you have. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, now for our faculty members, we have a few questions around uh, the idea of doing multiple um, multiple genres. So people who are maybe interested in classical music, but also interested in jazz or uh, something that piqued their interest was the steel drum courses. Can you talk about moving between different areas? Happy to talk about that. It's very easy to do that in our program. It has the flexibility so that you could be enrolled in the Caribbean uh, pan steel band ensemble, as well as a jazz workshop, for example. Um, as well as uh, uh, the orchestra. Uh, there are no restrictions. The only challenge sometimes is coordinating a timetable so that you are able to take all the required courses in addition to the ones that you want. But there, that also is certainly possible. And Daniel might be able to speak more to that or if anybody else would like to um, add more, but it's, there's definitely the flexibility there. I hope that answers that question, Laura. Hey, great. Um, we also have a few questions around uh, the audition process. Would you mind talking about that a little bit? Okay, thank you very much. Well, as we know, all of us, we are in a very different time. We normally do this live and in person, but we're now in this virtual format. We will be having virtual auditions this year at York. Um, and uh, the audition process will be very much like the in-person audition that normally takes place, uh, but it will be through Zoom. And uh, that process will require you to uh, choose two pieces uh, and prepare those pieces. And you will meet some of us and we'll ask you questions. Uh, we'll find out a little bit about you. You can ask us a little bit about the program. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's what we're planning. And the auditions will take place um, mid-February to end of March, beginning of April. Those are our plans this year. And there, something more specific will be up on the website in not too long. And actually, uh, there is going to be an audition workshop. Professor Mark Johnson, uh, Mark, sorry, Mark, Mark Chambers, whom you saw in the uh, video earlier, will be presenting uh, an audition workshop on Monday, November the 30th. And that precise date and the information to register for that will be available uh, in not too long. Okay, and uh, we can also include that information on our website and if we have it, we'll include it in the email when we send out the questions. Uh, I do see that uh, we are about 15 minutes over time now, so I'm going to have to call it. Uh, but as I mentioned, we have all the questions and we will be uh, in touch with all of our registrants with the answers to those questions. And Louise has uh, provided some contact information here on the slide as well, if you would like to speak further with any of our presenters today. Um, if you have any general questions as well, you can always email us at ampd at yourq.ca. We thank you so much for coming and thank you so much to our faculty members. It's always wonderful to hear uh, about the program from your own voices and uh, hear some lovely music as well.